started. This is the quarterfinal in the Wero.com Invitational. You can find the tournament brackets at Liquipedia. I will take a look at it after this uh, best of five zone, maybe in the middle of this best of five somewhere. Before this series kick off, I would like to say once more to all of our viewers, um, these games have been played a few days ago. That's why we're watching it in the uh, in a replay because we didn't want to force the players to play in an unfortunate, un yeah, an unfortunate, not really what I tried to say, but uh, an unfavorable time. We want to show the best games possible. Uh, tomorrow, all the games will be live, however, and the reason why we can watch the games together is because they have been played in the previous patch, so we cannot join the lobby because we have to sign in and out of Palanet all the time. Uh, but this should work, and I I'm pumped, Johan. I'm very stoked. Yeah, uh, I want to learn something, man. It's not by playing custom games against you that, that I'm going to learn PvP. It's by oh. watching these two guys, no offense. Oh, you had to burn me again. <laughs> we have been 1 minute and 15 seconds in this series and you had to burn me already. <laughs> Bro, maybe if, you stop you. Trying to, maybe if you stop trying to blind count to me, you actually learn something. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> Either way, Liquid Zero is our blue proto spotting on the right top side of Yangsu. As, of course, San representing the Yoey Flash Wolves is our red portals funding in the left bottom side of the map. I like the gateway positioning from Sun, I like the gateway positioning from Hero. If you guys wonder why do I like it, what, what what's funky about it, uh, actually I'm, I'm surprised about this already. Uh, it's because Youngster is of course an excellent map to cannon rush, and uh, when people cannon rush you don't want your gateway to be in range of those cannons because it can make the difference between having one stalker out or being able to get two or three stalkers out. They can just buy a lot of time for yourself. So. Never build your gateways too close to this also famous rep either over here in the north side or over here in the south side because you don't want to lose your gateway to cannon. I used to put them every time. Yeah, me too. Until, to until say I, I lost a few games to cannon rush. Yes, needless to say, I lost a few games against Widemids. And then I said, never again. <laughs> <laughs> That's very specific, Widemids. Yeah, man. Widemids and cannons are very notorious on the North American server. You don't mess with that kind of stuff. Trust me, if you give him a small opening, he's going to cannon the hell out of you, and you're in for a bad time. Noted. Ready. <laughs> All right, both Second players gate... are going to go for a scout, actually. Mm -hmm. Second gate are already being warped in for Sun Hero, so far sitting on single gate, and that goes his second gate, so it's a little later. So I'm expecting both players to open up with three stalkers in the Mothership Core. Behind this, literally everything is possible. It's possible they drop a Nexus of two gates. It's possible they followed up with a Stargate as well. It's even possible they add an additional gate to put on some real pressure with three gateways. Uh, do you have any predictions, Johan? This is something that uh, you think is particularly strong on this map? Uh, yeah, I think it can be, uh, especially against somebody who likes to play greedy and who doesn't scout. But in this case, they both scouted. So I feel like it's less likely one of them will go for a three gateways. But if one of them has some kind of a read where he thinks his opponent is going to go into two, only two gateways, and a quick target, mm -hmm. we might see one of them try and go for what you mentioned. All right, Hero is hiding his probe in the right bottom side of the map, and that makes me wonder already. Uh, however, Twilight Console is going down in the back of Hero's base, as uh, he has two stocks on the production tab. So, so far, there's indeed three stocks and a monitor score on both sides. Son is having another gauge on, so yeah, we so are going to one. see it. Uh, we are going to see a little bit of three-gauge repression. Now, if Hero micros properly, if Hero plays this safe, he should be in an okay position, oh, but... we might find the probe. Especially if Sans sends it in that direction, he does! Is Hero gonna react on time? Yes, he is! Uh, he's gonna escape! But, but this could also backfire. Let's not forget, if Hero's Mothership Core is too far out of position, it could be in, in a tough spot immediately. Hero is still sending his Mothership Core out on an adventure. Yo, this could be tough. Yeah, so he has to be careful. He's he doesn't have back home. He's gonna need that photon yeah. overcharge. Is wow. oh the third stalker is a bit late to the party, but okay, it's gonna be the same amount of units oh, here for a if moment. If time warp lands, if time warp lands on top of the stalkers, this could get bad for Actually, Hero. Hero is counter attacking with his mothership core. He's, yeah, but this is he's, he's getting two additional fire. stalkers behind this. Oh, that's a great time warp. That's a really good time warp. One stalker should fall. And uh, in PvP, this phase in the game, one stock it can already be uh, the end of you. Hero is forced to pull probes immediately. Uh, I'm curious to see how he's going to try to micro his way out of this. Of course, he does have Blink on the way, but it's not even halfway done yet. Here comes that Mothership Core. Is Sun going to warp in the stock defensively? I think his warp gates are on cooldown right now. Uh, so, oh, so far, great micro by Hero in his main base. Yeah, and Hero's gonna pull some probes here. He has a lot less stalkers than his opponent. In the meantime, his Mothership Core is doing a ton of damage onto his opponent. But I think he's gonna lose probes faster than he's killing them across the map. And uh, even yeah. though he has Blink Researching, this is not gonna help. 
This is not even gonna finish on time to change anything, supposedly. Uh, 20 probes against 12. Even if Sun doesn't win the game right here, he's already done a ridiculous amount of damage. Blink is about to finish up, and as you said as well, it's still not ready. These stalkers are trapped. Blink is not ready. This might actually just be GG. Yeah, he's uh, gonna lose the remainder of these stalkers. Blink's about to finish, but well, with oh. seven supply, not gonna do too much. And GG mm -hmm. gets called. Sun will take the first game of this series. Quick first game over here on Yongsu.